Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10, Burroughs Cave. The Burroughs Cave was supposedly discovered in 1982 by a man named Russell E. Burroughs. However, nobody actually knows where the cave is. The issue is that most mainstream archaeologists don't even believe the story behind its discovery is real. They call it a hoax, saying Russell Burroughs is a fraud. But here's how the story goes. Russell was living in the town of Olney, Illinois. He located the mysterious cave somewhere in Richland County. He claimed to have found it while hiking alone in the rural hillsides, searching for buckles and other leftover pieces of equipment from the Civil War. While moseying through the wilderness with a metal detector, hoping to find treasures, he couldn't believe his luck when he came across the entrance to a cave and discovered a whole treasure hoard of priceless ancient artifacts inside it. There were supposedly coins, carvings, statues, and relics inscribed in languages he believed to be Phoenician and even Iberian. It was a pretty wild discovery, especially coming from a place like Illinois. Russell claimed he had come across the remains of 13 underground crypts, but he refused to give anyone the exact location because he didn't want the artifacts to be stolen and the place to be pillaged. In the end, he couldn't even produce any legitimate artifacts, and the whole story ended up being dismissed. Today, we don't have a single physical piece of evidence from the supposed cave, and nobody has ever been able to find it. So, was it an authentic discovery or a hoax? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Number 9. Ancient Underground Secrets Deep in Grotte de Cusac, a mysterious ancient cave in France, there is a burial site from the Paleolithic era. It's an amazing burial plot because archaeologists believe it was also the site of mysterious prehistoric rituals carried out between 25,000 and 30,000 years ago. Archaeologists have found drawings of horses and mammoths galloping across the rock walls. They have found skeletons in shallow graves, smudged with red pigment, and some of their bones missing. Just about every discovery deep underground in Grotte de Cusac has left archaeologists both shocked and baffled. By far, the most interesting part of the burial site is the intricate artwork painted on the cave walls. Considering how old the burials are here, it's unbelievable to think the prehistoric people were decorating the graves of the dead with complex murals. It wasn't until the ancient Egyptians that tombs and graveyards started being decorated with visions of the afterlife, left behind for no one to see except the dead. Yet here in France, it looks as though the primitive people from the Stone Age had already started leaving symbols and pictures in places of death. The artwork inside the caves couldn't have possibly been made for the living, as it's only been found in places where burials were located. Plus, these are in some of the darkest recesses of the caves, where the living couldn't exactly have enjoyed the art. Number 8. Mysterious Underground Chambers There are over 700 mysterious tunnels in Bavaria. Why are they described as mysterious? No one knows what their purpose is. Archaeologists are unsure if they were built as graves, as highways for the souls of the dead, or as hideouts during times of invasion. A dairy farmer named Betty Greihanner and her husband recently came upon one of these tunnels by accident. One of the cows on their dairy farm had gotten stuck up to her hips in a crater that opened up in the earth. After they were able to free the cow, the couple realized the hole was a lot bigger than it looked. Betty's husband lowered himself into the gaping darkness and began to go down a diagonal tunnel into the earth like the tomb of some pharaoh. Before he knew it, he'd gotten so deep underground that he couldn't hear anything from the surface above. He was having a hard time breathing and had to rush back to the surface. He was having a hard time breathing and had to rush back to the surface. This is only one of the hundreds of strange tunnels found throughout Bavaria. They are not all connected, at least not that archaeologists can tell. They each run about 82 feet diagonally downwards with no obvious explanation. Archaeologists haven't found any artifacts inside them to help solve the mystery either. In local legend, the holes are said to have been built by elves and occupied by gnomes. There are also legends that say the tunnels were escape passages from castles and that they were used by a race of troublesome goblins. The tunnels can be up to around 150 feet long at maximum, with the tiniest of them being so narrow that a person needs to crawl through the cramped corridor. Even after finding so many, experts still don't have a good guess as to why they were dug in the earth, and only in Bavaria of all places. What do you think the purpose was behind these mysterious tunnels? I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments. Number 7. Ancient Cave Art in America In 1980, a group of recreational cavers entered an unknown passage near Knoxville, Tennessee. 
They were exploring a new cave system and wanted to get into the darkest part of the subterranean lair, the dark zone where no light shines. The cavers went deeper and deeper into the network of tunnels. They trudged through a stream, squeezed through thin passages, burrowed through mud, and eventually made it into the dark zone of the cave. If they hadn't been professional cavers, there is no way they would have ever made it into such a remote and difficult place. It's hard to think that ordinary people would have journeyed so deep into the cave without any equipment, and for the sheer fun of it. Yet when these explorers came into the dark zone, when the light from their headlamps shined on the walls, they saw lines etched into the rock. Upon closer inspection, they realized they were looking at ancient glyphs carved on the walls of the cave, presumably thousands and thousands of years old. They beheld images of animals, transformational creatures that appeared similar to science fiction monsters, as well as ordinary animals like snakes and birds. Archaeologists eventually made their way into the site, what's now called Mud Glyph Cave. Charles Faulkner was the first professional to take a look at the mysterious glyphs, deciding they were probably made by the Mississippian culture 800 years ago. But why in the world they went so deep into the cave, into the very darkest part of it, to draw these images is a total mystery. Ever since this discovery, there have been 92 similar cave art sites found from Tennessee to Wisconsin. They are everywhere in North America and always in the darkest zone of the cave. Number 6. Chambers Under Jerusalem Mysterious underground chambers have been discovered near the western wall of Jerusalem, carved into bedrock and previously hidden for 1,400 years. The subterranean rooms were discovered no more than 120 feet from the most important holy site in the Jewish world. According to the Israel Antiquities Authority, these chambers were discovered beneath the mosaic floor of a building from the Byzantine era, basically just basement rooms underneath the house. Mind you, these are very old basement rooms. Archaeologists found niches carved into the walls of the underground structures, likely used as shelves and storage spaces. They also found artifacts like clay cooking vessels, oil lamps, a stone mug, and a basin for holding water, all from 2,000 years ago. What's truly amazing about these underground chambers is that they are now some of the only remaining pieces of the original Jerusalem. This is Jerusalem as it was before it was destroyed by the Romans in 70 AD. When the Romans descended on the city, they destroyed everything and then rebuilt from scratch. These underground chambers were undoubtedly once part of the house. It was then built over by the Romans, who installed a mosaic floor right over the hidden chamber ceiling. And now for number 5, but first, it's shout out time! Big thank you to Carrie Aubrey and Candy A. Thanks so much for watching! Be sure to subscribe if you are new here for more videos about incredible discoveries! Number 5. Egyptian Cave Statues in the early 1900s, an archaeologist for the Smithsonian Institute named Kincaid was hired to seek out amazing discoveries in the West. His search for treasure eventually brought him to the Grand Canyon, where he discovered the unbelievable, deep underground in a dark, mysterious cave. He came across Egyptian statues and other relics from a lost civilization. Not only did he discover incredible artifacts that could have only come from the Egyptians, but he also found hieroglyphics and a crypt and all nearly a mile beneath the surface of the earth. Kincaid claimed the main passage descending into this mysterious Egyptian underworld was at the floor of the canyon in a remote section away from any trail. The pass descended into a labyrinth of burial tombs, homes, altars, temples, shrines, and everything else an Egyptian society might need who is living beneath the floor of the Grand Canyon. You might find this story a bit suspicious. In fact, most people don't believe this actually happened especially not mainstream scientists. The Smithsonian Institute has denied the story. No one has ever been able to actually find the cave since Mr. Kincaid, and we have no idea where all of these supposed artifacts went. Could there have been an ancient race of people living in the caves in the Grand Canyon? Maybe not Egyptians, but somebody else? Let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 4. The Secret Under Stonehenge a mysterious underground megastructure has been discovered near Stonehenge in England. Archaeologists have known since 1916 that there are strange holes surrounding one of the greatest monuments of ancient people, but it wasn't until recently that they used ground-penetrating radar to see just how deep the holes go. Each mysterious hole is about 16 feet deep and 65 feet across. In total, 20 of them have been discovered. They were dug 4,500 years ago, just a stone's throw from Stonehenge. 
But over the years, these giant holes filled with dirt and were overgrown, which is why nobody ever saw them until now. These giant holes have been found around the site of Durrington Walls. This is the name for the huge village two miles from Stonehenge, where the builders had lived and feasted over centuries of construction. Judging by the underground pits, it looks like the village had its very own henge. The holes were once filled with huge pieces of rock that formed a massive circle around the entire village, yet archaeologists aren't sure why. The huge circle may have been used as a border to keep unwanted people away from the inside of the village. It may even have been used for astrological purposes, much like Stonehenge itself. Since the rocks are missing and only the pits remain, filled up with dirt and invisible to the naked eye, archaeologists are having a very difficult time solving the mystery. Number 3. Hadrian's Villa Construction of Hadrian's Villa, 15 miles east of Rome, began in the year 118. It was just after Hadrian became emperor and was completed about 10 years later. When a group of Italian investigators were looking at a hole on the grounds of the villa, concealed by bushes, they came across an underground secret. It turns out there was an entire network of roads underneath the emperor's great estate. According to Marco Placidi, the director of the group that made the discovery, the real grandeur of the villa is actually beneath it. This is one of the more interesting estates from the Roman Empire. It was designed by Hadrian himself, based on ideas from Egypt and Greece. His estate covered a massive area of 600 acres and was organized like an ancient city. It had palaces, multiple libraries and theaters, thermal baths for relaxation, and landscaped gardens. It also had underground passageways reserved for Hadrian's slaves. Hadrian specifically designed the underground passageway so that his thousands of slaves could move from one part of the estate to another without getting in the emperor's way. The tunnels are so big that ox carts could be moved through them with food and supplies. There were also sewers and water pipes down there. Much like the underground service passageways in major theme parks, these tunnels kept the estate running without revealing the labor who made it happen. Number 2. Shape-Shifting Hunters On the Indonesian island of Sulawesi, Adam Brum from Griffith University in Brisbane came across the entrance to a cave. The entrance was located high on a limestone cliff face, only reachable by climbing a fig tree and then scaling vertically up the rock wall. It seemed like a pretty unlikely place to make any archaeological discoveries. However, it was perfect. Inside the cliffside cave, Adam found ancient paintings going back 44,000 years. This is some of the oldest cave art ever found, and it depicts terrible creatures unlike anything painted by ancient cave-dwelling humans. The creatures painted inside this unreachable cave seem to be part man and part animal. They look like hunters, except they have animal snouts, tails, and all sorts of other animalistic features. It may not seem that incredible, but remember, this was a very long time ago. It's now one of the earliest pieces of evidence of human creativity. It could even be the very oldest evidence of the human capacity for imagination. Tens of thousands of years ago in Indonesia, an ancient human or a human ancestor crawled up the side of the cliff, sat down with dark red pigment, and let their imagination run wild. It may have been the first time such a thing ever happened to a person. Number 1. A Tomb of Mummies 30 mummies have been discovered underground in Egypt, at the bottom of a structure that had been scorched with fire 2,000 years ago. The bizarre discovery was made in Aswan, in the southernmost part of Egypt near the border of Sudan, or the ancient kingdom of Nubia. Archaeologists first found the entrance to the underground tomb, then journeyed into its depths to uncover the 30 mummified people. They don't appear to have been that important. They range from the elderly to the newborn. It was likely a family tomb, with everyone inside related to one another through five or six generations. Believe it or not, this is only one of the 300 recently discovered tombs around the mausoleum of the Aga Khan. The reason this tomb stands out is that it was found inside an above-ground structure. The other 299 tombs were dug into rocky hills or immediately under the ground, but this was beneath a standing structure what may have been used as a place for ritual sacrifice. Archaeologist Patrizia Piacentini from the University of Milan says the building above the tomb was probably used for sacrificing animals to the god Knum, protector of the fertile lands around the Nile. This theory is helped by the fact that the whole place is scorched, 
probably from fires during ceremonies. However, Patrizia admitted the fire may have also been from grave robbers who went down into the tomb and burned everything. Thanks for watching! What's your favorite underground discovery? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you again soon! Bye!